All right, this is for Bill at Pirate Labs. And a uh, long time ago, when we were working on the Jewel Thief in the early days, uh, back when Gina was involved, uh, I and I bet a bunch of other people tried to use the battery as the core on a Jewel Thief. And uh, Bill just tried this. I guess it's been resurrected at the um, Over Unity Forum. And it didn't work for him. And so I thought I would go back and take a look at the uh, the problem, see if I could get one to work. There's something about trying to use the AA battery for the core that uh, it doesn't work. But I did get something to work that was kind of interesting. See that right there? That is the two coils of a Jewel Thief. Uh, they're air core coils with a bolt down the middle of it. And it looks just like it's just a bolt. But there's a battery in that. I put this little tiny watch battery in there and it's inside that and it's set up like this and this does work if you put a battery uh, in series with the core of this uh, jewel thief circuit and uh, that's what the whole thing looks like you can pause this and take a look at it it's extremely simple jewel thief circuit but uh, it does work and uh, so we, we really should take a more look at this uh, process of um, using a battery in the core of the Jewel Thief and whether that helps anything at all or whether it hurts it. And I don't know. We'd have to take some more um, study on, on see if the uh, magnetic uh, flux inside that uh, Jewel Thief is going to do anything uh, to the battery or not. But I did it on my little penny oscillator here too, and I just took a AAA battery and put it right down the middle of the penny oscillator, and it works very, very well. And I just got it with uh, Bill's magnetic uh, clips, and I'm crediting him for, I think, the first one that did that, where he just used a neo magnet on a end of a wire and clipped onto the battery, and that's your, your method of attachment. And uh, anyway, it worked great on. Uh, on this penny oscillator. That's a AAA battery that's running at about 15 milliamps right there. So anyway, this idea of putting the battery inside the uh, coils of a Jewel Thief uh, is doable if it's done right. I just don't know if we can uh, figure out a way to do it with the AA battery because uh, Bill and, um, and I tried to wrap the coils around that and use that as the core. It doesn't work. But this method here does work. Like I say, that's just uh, using a little watch battery inside the core of those two coils. And that's what it looks like right there. That's the circuit. Anyway, just something fun to do that uh, I thought it uh, might be fun to go back and take a look at this idea of putting uh, the whole jewel thief around the battery and uh, try to construct it uh, around the power source. One way to do it. Thanks for watching.